Crane Operation Demonstration. Start the vehicle and confirm that the vehicle is in the M position. Step on the clutch and open the power takeoff switch. Release the clutch slowly. At this moment, the hydraulic system starts to work. Open the leg safety bolts on both sides of the crane. Turn the reversing valve to vertical direction and push the lever to release the legs. Point the reversing valve upwards to open the left leg and point it downwards to open the right leg. After the legs on both sides are extended, turn the reversing valve to the horizontal direction and push the lever to extend the legs to lift the truck body. Point the reversing valve left to extend the left leg and point it right to extend the right leg. The vehicle can be fine-tuned by means of a level on the legs on both sides to achieve a smooth state before the crane can be operated to avoid rollover. Before stretching or lifting the crane, firstly release a part of the cable to leave a part of the space for the hook. Not that, the hook cable must be released before extending the boom. This lever controls the lifting and lowering of the crane, and the red and black arrows indicate the direction of the crane movement. This lever controls the telescopic expansion of the crane. Red and black arrows indicate extension and the retraction of the crane. This lever controls the hook to release and retract and the red and black arrows make the direction of releasing and retracting. The secondary level controls the crane to rotate and the red and black arrows mark the direction of the rotation. After the crane operation is completed, the legs are retracted successively. It is necessary to notice that in the process of retracting the legs, always pay attention to maintain the left and the right balance of the body. Do not completely recover the one side leg at one time to prevent the vehicle from rolling over. After the legs are retracted, close both side safety bolts and return to the cab to close the power takeoff. Slowly approach the vehicle to the rescued one. It is recommended not to be too close. The lifting arm needs to be released in a certain amount. If distance is too close, there will be a possibility of being scratched. Remove the lifting arm assembly and put it on both sides, and then return to the cab to open the power takeoff. Rear tail level controls the lifting and the stretching of the lifting arm. Alternately operate the lifting arm to lift and stretch, so that the lifting arms fit closely with the wheels of the rescued vehicle. Then, insert the lifting arm's components into the corresponding interface and lock the safety bolt. Note that the width of the lifting arms can be adjusted manually and its both ends are locked by a safety bolt. After fixing the lifting arm, the rescued vehicle can be lifted slowly. After lifting the rescued vehicle, the distance between the rescued vehicle and the rescued vehicle can be appropriately adjusted according to the actual situation. 
released the rescued vehicle and completed the rescue. This process also requires alternate operations of the lifting arm to lift and stretch to prevent the vehicle from being scratched. The lifting arm's components are recommended to be bundled and placed in the container so that it is not easy to lose.